First off, tell the folks across the country uh, exactly what you do and what we have going on here in St. Pete. Yeah, so I'm the director of the Shine St. Petersburg Mural Festival, and what we've been doing is really kind of championing um, freedom of expression and creative expression uh, for the last seven years. We started in 2015, and since then we've produced 106 murals. We bring in, uh, every year we do an annual festival, and we bring in international artists, national artists, and we put them up alongside our local artists. And uh, every year we're just out there in the streets bringing some more art. And when you do this, you know, uh, of course, we happen to be right downtown. I, I live right here, two folks, and in, in, in right along Central. And it, it's really cool the amount of work that they do because you're talking about when they get these artists. These artists are here day and night. So first off, they let's talk about the artist and let's talk about the, the aspect of is there a contest that, that people come in from across the country? How does this work? That you, Who do you pick out? So we have a curation team that selects the artists every year. It's not a contest. It's really just a celebration of art for art's sake and okay. really kind of, you know, looking at our public spaces in a different way. Instead of putting advertisements and branded art and things like that, it's really just truly a celebration of art. So the artists are selected based on their, you know, artistic style, their experience, their their particular voice and style is really what we celebrate. So there's no theme, you know, typically last year we had a theme because of COVID, but there's no theme typically. And we just let the artists do what they do best. And um, we don't know what's going to go up on the wall before it goes up. Uh, but the artist knows and, and that's kind of what it's about. And what about the buildings? How does that work? So a lot of property owners now, because we've been doing it for so long, a lot of people reach out to us, donate, you know, to all, to donate their walls. Otherwise, we go out and seek out the walls that we like. You know, usually a high visible wall, not a lot of obstructions in the way. You know, something that's going to be easy enough for an artist to complete in a span of you know eight days and planning for at least a day of rain because it's hurricane season. Yes. Now, so t talk to us a little bit about the aspect of you know it's really intriguing because when cities do get gentrified. And, you know, I've been in this city now for 25 years. I'm from Boston, so I watched this happen in Boston when I was a kid. And it's always interesting, you know, art is always first. Murals always come first, okay? So talk to me about the, your conversations just in general, you know, going forward of how these artists can continue to basically get good business. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a difficult thing. It's a double-edged sword. I mean, we know that people will go where the art goes, you know, and we've seen that in St. Pete over the course of the last 10 years. I mean, people will go. It brings foot traffic wherever we put the art. Yes. And it's a powerful driver, you know, especially now with people trying to get foot traffic back to their businesses, and people will go to see the art. So we know that, you know, and, and one of the nice things, though, about the festival is that we're creating these murals during this one week of the year. The rest of the year, when, when property owners or business owners are reaching out saying hey how do i get a mural we're connecting them with local artists to get them those commissions and make sure they keep getting work all throughout the year and and more and more businesses are doing that that is so cool so now i want to i want to go from there because what's happened here in st pete folks and i've seen this in a lot of cities it seems to me in st pete that it, the, the bottom line we have the murals but janae is part of a, a larger st pete Art Alliance, where we have the art walk. Can you talk to the folks about the art work, how you're combining all of this to make sure that the art community in general and culturally can go forward and make a good living? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's the Arts Alliance mission, you know, really to lift up all the arts in St. Pete, not just the visual arts, although we do get a lot of shine because what we're doing is so visible, um, but also the performing arts and music arts and literary arts and, you know, all the different forms of arts. That's really the Arts Alliance's mission is, is to really make sure that there's a platform and a voice for all of those arts. Now, do you find, you know, when folks coming into town, are we getting a lot of artists that Right across the country, they hear that St. Pete is on fire. It's a great art community. I mean, is that, yeah. do we get that type of traction coming into the city? We do, actually. I mean, for a city of our size, I've, I've looked into other cities of our size, and nobody's doing what we're doing. The, the other cities that have established festivals and mural scenes like we have are cities that are way bigger than us, like Detroit and Atlanta and Sacramento. I mean, what we're doing for our size is is honestly incredible. And 
you know, one of the things with Shine that's made it so successful is we really prioritize that artist hospitality. So when an artist comes to town here, we take care of everything. We get all their paint, we feed them all their meals, we put them up in a hotel. I mean, you name it, we take care of it. So when those artists leave here, they go back to their communities, wherever that may be, and they say, wow, Shine was amazing. They really take care of you. That's the one you want to go to. And so the, so as the folks are listening to us across the country, how do you sustain yourself? Is it through donations? How, how do you sustain yourself so we can get some of these folks to help you out? Yeah, it is. We're a nonprofit, so we do rely on donations. We we use a lot of corporate sponsorships to, to fund the murals, and then we also get a grant from the city every year. But the majority of that is uh, corporate sponsorships and individual donations. And, folks, that website would be stpetealliance.org. And if you go to it, you're going to see um, you're going to see a huge amount of art. You're going to see uh, the different artists, uh, what they uh, like to do. Uh, it's it's pretty, you know. Well, I guess the bottom line is that uh, you've made it through COVID, uh, you know, which we're coming out the other side. Uh, as as we go forward, uh, I guess the the aspect of uh, every year we we do have less buildings, right, that aren't next to each other. So that's going to be a little bit challenging as we go forward, I guess, huh? A little bit, yeah. I think eventually we may come to the point where we're going to have to start covering up some of the earlier ones. They do get pretty faded after about five years, depending on how much sun they get. Um, but there is so much new development in St. Pete, to be honest. I mean, there are new walls going up all the time, and there's a lot of other directions we can move. We could work north, we can work west, we can work south. You know, there's a lot of ways we can go to find more walls. You got to love it. I, I like that. We got, we got, your, your artists get those paintbrushes out, and they're going to find a wall. I like that. That's right. <laughs> well, listen, thank you so much for the update. Really appreciate it and look forward to having you on uh, once again. Okay, cool? Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Have a great one. Have a safe one. And the website, folks, that you can donate out here, and let me tell you something. Their art is incredible. Um, you know, I'm prejudiced to the city, of course, because uh, the bottom line is that I love the city and I love building in the city. Uh, but it's stpetealliance.org. So if you get over there, uh, bottom line, give them a few dollars, uh, keep these artists going.